Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to delete negative reviews on your Google Business Profile. I created a GPT that'll help you every step of the way. So watch this. All right, guys, I hope everybody's doing great. Thank you very much for coming over and hanging out for a little while. Look, if you're watching this video, you're trying to rank here on Google Maps. This is the most clicked area for local search, over 60% of all local search clicks come from this area, Google Maps. And the one thing that could ruin your business are bad reviews, right? So you get a bad review from somebody, it sticks forever, and it's gonna hurt your rankings. It's it, What's worse now is that people are looking in language models like ChatGPT. I'm bringing my dog from the Philippines back to Tampa in December. And I was looking for companies and the companies I would type in is uh, XYZ Pet Transport, a good company. And it would tell me everything about the company, but then it would also tell me about the good reviews they had and the bad reviews they had. And the language models don't know whether that review was uh, a real review or a fake review. And it's really going to hurt your business because people find businesses on Google and then they research them on, they're starting to research them on the language models, right? Because it would take me a really long time to, uh, to research XYZ on Google. I just put it into the language model. I I hit go and it tells me everything about that business. So we got to get rid of all your bad reviews. That's a must. That has to happen today. That has to that has to happen today. So I'm going to show you how to do that next. Hey guys, I really appreciate you being here. If you would please like and subscribe. Also, I do client work. So you could come over to mindsaw.com. Just click the talk with me button and let's set up a quick five or 10 minute consultation just to see if we're a good fit for you. Thank you. All right, guys. So Google will only um, remove reviews that are against their policy, right? They have like 10 different things why like there's violence or sex or cursing or uh, threatening they have about 10 things that they'll that they'll the reasons why they'll remove it and if they don't fit into that 10 uh criteria or their of their policy their their uh in, inappropriate reviews if it doesn't fit in their policy they're not going to remove the review even if you tell them that it's fake they will not unless you know it's against their policy. So what we used to do for our clients is that we would go through this policy and then we would click, you know, it really was really hard, right? Because I had to read all this content, well not me, my staff, has to read all this content and then try to fit it into a, um, you know, how, do, how does this match, how does the review match with what, what their policy says and then instruct an email to Google, a short email, don't never write a book to email, they will, uh, to Google, they will delete it, right? Two or three sentences as fast as possible. And, and this took a lot of time. So I created a, a GPT and I'm going to put it in the description below, but let me show you how it works. Just, just watch this. So if we come over to plumber, I've been fooling around with this one. Let me see. So I click this plumber right here. Let me scroll down. Here's reviews. I'm going to go to the lowest rated review, right? And we want to make sure that this review, can we, I'm just going to copy it. See what I did there? I just right clicked. I copied it. And now I'm going to come over to my GPT. And what I did is I loaded all these documents in my GPT so I don't have to remember them right so all Google's policy and I put in a couple other things are in here are, are in this GPT right so now I all I have to do is just I don't have to say act like a Google I like act like you work for Google I don't have to do any of that right I just I just type the the review in and watch what it does see so there's no clear violation for this one. Meaning that if I wanted to remove this review, I couldn't. It's just a waste of time, even though it's fake, even though it's a bad review, 
right? So the thing that I like about this, okay, you can't remove the review, right? And it tells you, it tells you um, that there's no violations. But then what it does is it does recommended actions. And here's the thing. This is really important. A lot of people don't realize this, right? Nobody likes a tattletale. Nobody likes a snitch. Neither does Google. And if your email comes up on their servers hundreds of times for reporting, you're the one that's gonna get banned, right? So don't use your email address to constantly report other people's uh, uh, Google business profiles or bad reviews or say you got bad reviews, right? So for this one, I would not do anything with Google. Look, do not re remove. Now you wouldn't know that if you had this review, right? You got this review right here. You don't know that it's not, um, it, it's within their policy. Okay. So it tells you the next step is to respond professionally, acknowledge the concern, you know, what, what what I tell people is that, hey, thank you very much for reaching out to me. Uh, however, you may have my company mixed up with someone else, with another company. It happens quite often because I don't have your name in our database. How's that? Because it's not a back and forth with Google. They leave the review. You leave the response and it stops there. It doesn't, it's not a thread. It doesn't keep going, right? So you're writing the response, not to the person who left the review. You're leaving the response for the next person who's going to read this bad review. So they see the bad review, right? And then they want, they look for your response and your response is, Hey, thank you for reaching out, but you may have us mixed up with another company because I don't see your name in our database, right? All right, um, and then it gives you other other notes like encourage positive reviews. So if you do get a bad review, if you do get a bad review, please that week try to get three to five good reviews. We got to bury that because what Google does is they show your newest reviews first, right? So you you have to bury that review. Get three to five reviews to bury that. So um, here's the thing that I like. Like nobody knows the address, including myself off the top of my head. I don't know the address of Google's removal tool, right? I always have to look for it. It's always like, you know, every month and a half, I got to go look for that tool and I don't know where, but it, look, the, G the GPT that I created provides it right here. So if this review was good, I mean, was bad, I'm sorry, it was a bad review, I could just click this link. I don't have to save it. I don't have to remember where I put it and just fill out the short form. Remember something, only, only uh, report uh, reviews that are against Google's policy, right? You could do that all day long, as long as it's against their policy, but you have to know that. The only way to know that is to use this tool. Or memorize this. Memorize is about 50 pages here. I, I copied them all. I copied them all. I put them all in PDFs. <laughs> and then I put them inside the GPT. Right? I have the link in the description below. So I want to show. So right here, conclusion. The review does not violate Google's review policy. Removal is unlikely. The best repo, uh, approach is the diplomatic. Now, look, if you know that this is a real client, uh, I, and I'm going to tell you a short story. I had trigger, trigger finger in my thumb from fighting, right? And and my, my hands are all messed up, especially my left thumb. And the doctor, I, I, I left two bad reviews in my whole life. And one was for this doctor. And I really went, I really went in on him. Uh, long story short, they called me up and they offered, you know, some appeasement to the situation. And they said, would you mind changing your review? You know what? After I spoke with them, I got it off my chest. I went back and I changed the one star review to, I think, a four star review or something like that. They were happy. I was happy. 
I didn't lie, you know, there was some type of mistake or something, whatever happened. And uh, we straightened this situation out. But had they not reached out to me, they would have had a one star review from me, right? So if it is a real client, the best thing that you could do is reach out to that person, ask if there's anything that you could do, even if you were wrong, even if you were the one fighting with the person, it's these reviews are not for you. They're for your future customers. Reach out to that person, let them know how it's going to affect your business. And is there anything that I could do to, to change? And all they have to do is edit the review, right? You have to, you have to be over four, you know, look, I say four eight to five zero, right? You should be somewhere around there, right? Because people are real picky these days. So I want to show you something else. I'm going to show you uh, a review that violates Google's uh, policy. Okay, guys. So I got a real good one here. So I took a uh, I took a bad review from the same company, right? I found a bad review. And then I came over to my GPT that I created and I just uh, uh, put it in, right? I just pasted it in. I just copied and pasted it in. And here's what it says, possible violation. So I would go after this one, but I wanna show you something. Here's the, they make allegations, right? The allegations are here too, okay? These statements accuse the business of being dishonest and deceptive. Without factual evidence, Google policy states uh, unsubstantiated allegations of ethical behavior or criminal wrongdoing are not allowed. Right. So I would go. But how would you know that if you didn't have this GPT? How would you know that? Right. So like Flowmaster, they kept the the uh, bad review. This has been on there for seven for 11 months. 11 months has been on when if they had this little tool here, right, they could, they could tell Google the, um, the policy that they violated, right? I would just say, look, your policy is uns unsubstantiated allegations or unethical behavior, uh, or criminal wrongdoing are not allowed. All right. This looks like a fake, fake review anyway. Uh, Look, Google makes the final decision. And then here's the review tool. There was something else here I like. Okay, I'm gonna find one that is definitely a uh, against their violation. But you, you got the idea, right? All right, guys, so here's one that's been on for over a year. I used to work, work here. Let me tell you, the management is terrible, right? They treat their employees horrible. Stay away from this place. Policy assessment likely violation it's a violation right it's conflict of interest former employee it's off topic uh so it tells you exactly what the recommended actions get in touch with google click the google removal tool and when reporting select the violation category conflict of interest review left by employee off topic see it tells you what to do Guys, I hope this video helped you. I hope this GPT can help you. It's going to be in the description. It'll be in the first uh, comment box below. I am asking for a donation for it. So if you'd like to donate, it took me a while to create. I think it's something that you could use for a lifetime or unless uh, until something else better comes out. So I'm just asking for a donation if you decide to take that. All right, I hope this helps you. Be good to your wife, be good to your kids, right? And we'll catch you tomorrow. Bye.